24. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, be thankful that I, the in God, have indeed called thee to be ambassadors of peace. That is, in the midst of the war for souls that have called thee to represent the peace that is found in my kingdom when men will adhere unto me. That is, the war is not over, the war is never finished as long as there are souls perishing upon this earth. But I say it is me, the living God, who does call thee to proclaim to all men their need to repent, that they can indeed be at peace with me. For I say you are living in times when men are full of darkness, iniquity, and treachery on every hand. And I say they are far from the truth, the light, the mercy that I give, and of course they find no peace at all. And I say it is me, the living God, who is calling for men to repent, 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 and turn from their wicked ways that they can indeed be at peace with me, restored to me, and brought forth in me. Now I say this day, do not tire of proclaiming the kingdom that remains, for the kingdoms of men will come and go. And I say there are endless multitudes who involve themselves in the politics of this world, and it is all for naught. For I say, when it is finished and a man will stand before me, it is not how wise he became in politics and the game of the same. But I say it is what he has done for me, how he has lived for me, and what it is that he's yielded to me. Now I say this day, why not store up the treasure that is eternal, that will bring me everlasting life. That is, why not be faithful each day to labor for me to be ambassadors of the kingdom that does remain. For I say when men are breathing out their threatenings, when they are indeed showing their might, and how fearful they are, I say consider this. Consider that it is me, the living God, who is higher than all men, and they are fools before me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to tremble at the threats of the wicked, no matter how high the power is that they think they have. For I say it is me, the living God, who can indeed bring down all kings, princes, emperors, and rulers, even in a night. And I say that I can indeed reduce them to absolutely nothing at all. For I say it is me, the living God, who indeed has all the nations in my hand, and I say they are subject to me. Therefore I say do not live in the fear of evil men and all of their agendas, nor live in the fear of those who are politicking day in and day out. For I say that all are involved in the vicious game of power, and I say that is what they thirst for. But I say that I, the living God, am indeed the power that is on high, the power that remains. Therefore, I say, do not align yourself with the carnal dictates of men, but align yourselves with me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who remains supreme. It is me, the living God, who is the Almighty. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth. Therefore, I say, continue ye as a steadfast people who are ever thankful to be guided by me. And I say, continue in the way that is my truth, my light, my mercy. And I say, of course, you will be redeemed. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. I say, this day that I, the living God, never called my people to be aspiring to acquire that which the wicked have. For I say, you are not meant to be envious of the wicked, for I say, they will live and die and perish to be remembered no more. And I say that all they have brought forth will prove to be their condemnation when they stand before me. For I say that the wicked gain nothing from this life except the course of their own damnation. 
Therefore I say, do not be envious of the wicked doers, not in any of their proclamations nor disguises. For I say that the end of it all is death and damnation of soul. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to keep going in a way and going in a way that I, the living God, do not intend for thee. For I say, when you will indeed take up idols, I say they become a weight upon your neck. That is, they will drag thee down, they will cause thee despair, and they will cause thee frustration, because they separate you from me. Now I say that I, the living God, do not call thee to take up idols, but I say that I call thee to continue in the way of truth that I provide. For I say the sorrowful thing about worshipping idols is that a man is never satisfied. I say this day when men are bound to idols, I say they are bound to frustration, irritation, and vexation day after day. And I say it is because they have taken up other lovers, other gods, and their hearts are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be found worshipping idols, not at all. But I say that I call thee to be serving, to be worshipping me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. Now I say, therefore, this day, be thankful for the privilege to continue, the privilege to walk uprightly, and be ever directed by me. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who does instruct thee in the way of repentance, revolution, each and every day. I say, be thankful that you can indeed serve me in humility and gladness, and be solidified unto me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does give the straight and narrow pathway for those who are mine. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to abound in wickedness, and yet multitudes of those who claim that they are mine are doing just that. That is, they are giving themselves over to a multitude of evil doings and wickedness that they know in the depths of their hearts is wrong. But I say they persist and insist in their idolatry, and I say it is all to their shame. For I say, through it all, they cannot be my ambassadors of peace in the midst of the war, for I say, they are not at peace with me. So I say, they go and make false peace with the world, they align themselves with wicked doers, and oh, what a show they put on. That is, that they are filled with such love, that they are filled with such mercy, when really they are filled with lies. For I say, they are full of all manner of abomination, and the worst of all is their pride. For I say they have refused correction, direction, and, of course, repentance in their lives. I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to be at peace with evildoers, with wicked men who are headstrong in their pursuit of the same. But I say that I called my people to continue to proclaim repentance, revolution, that men can be brought into subjectivity unto me. For I say that indeed my love is a conquering force, and when men will bow unto me, then I say they are conquered for the kingdom that does remain. That is, they are brought forth as subjects of my kingdom, and I say they receive the blessedness that I provide. But I say when men will stubbornly, proudly persist and insist in their own way, then of course they are taken far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be taken far from me, but I say that I call thee to come forth in me. That is, I call thee to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. And I say that I call thee to be thankful that it is me that you can continue to look unto and believe. For I say, when you've aligned yourself with me, then I say you are found in truth. But I say, when you've aligned yourself with the deception of your own conception, of course you are living in lies. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be as the compromisers, the ones who are satisfied in their complacent sludge that they live in. For I say, while they think if they compromise with the enemies of my purpose, then they will keep their safety, I say they are deceiving themselves. For I say, when the day of my wrath is revealed, they will find they have no safety at all. And I say it is because they refuse to be aligned with me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I give to thee the truth and the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. And I say, be thankful that I purpose thee, that you can indeed be brought forth, ever rejoicing in me. That is, may glad for the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. And I say, be glad that I purpose, direct, and guide thee forth, for yes, indeed you are mine. Now I say this day, do not be hasty to align yourself with enemy forces, to align yourself with darkness and evil, but I say, be ever walking circumspectly with me. 
Christ say that the enemy will use so-called innocent lures to bring you in. That is, to bring you into a nest of devils that will seek to overwhelm thee, devour thee, and cause thee great despair. But I say you are not meant to be lured in, but I say you are meant to see that the worm on the hook is not for thee. That is, you are not meant to be so gullible that you swallow the very thing that will take you into death. I say this day bring all things into my light, be subject to me, and be brought forth in my way. For I say when you will indeed be subject to the truth, the light, the strength that I provide, then you are ever guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, will not cease to give the same unto a people who are ever subject unto me. That is, I will not cease to bring my people forth in the truth, the light, and the mercy that I provide. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad for the privilege to keep on serving. Be thankful for the way that I give thee time and again. And I say, when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, will do for thee, then I say, be rejoicing in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will never cease to guide thee forth as you continue to trust, to hope, to believe upon me. And I say, it is me, the living God, who will direct thee and correct thee and show thee the way that is eternal life. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad for the privilege to keep on trusting, to keep on believing and following after. And I say, be thankful that when you will indeed be walking in my way, it is the straight and narrow way that leads to eternal life. But I say, when any will deviate to the broad way, I say they are embracing the way of lying, deception that will take them into hell. And I say they are embracing sin rather than righteousness, and they will be taken down by the same. Now I say there are men who start out to sin and think they can handle it, that it will not take control of them. But I say when you see them in the end, they are quivering, they are muttering, they are stuttering, and they have no peace with me. And I say they are full of the reaping of what it is that they have sown in sin, and I say it is a terrible sight to behold. For I say there are many who live out their days in the wretchedness of sin's retribution in their lives. Now I say this day when it is all over and done, if they have failed to enter into a repentance revolution, I say they die in misery and perish likewise. I say if men would only look squarely and wisely at sin, I say there are multitudes who would never enter into the same. But I say because men are trained in lying, deception, and delusion, I say they go for sin and think they gain from it all. But I say what they gain in the end is a way of misery, the way of wretchedness, and the way of torment than eternity in hell itself. And I say they cannot escape their reward for their unfaithful, their untrue ways of sin. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer unto men the opportunity to repent, it is only a fool who rejects the same. And yes, I know there are multiplied fools who are ever present in these times. But I say, nonetheless, it is me, the living God, who does by my mercy offer to men the opportunity to repent. That is, that they can indeed be brought in out of wickedness and into the glorious light that I provide. I say this day, be thankful that it is me that you can be serving, that it is me that you can obey and follow after. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to live, abide, and dwell in sin, but you can come forth in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed be uplifted, purposed, directed, and guided always by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, mercy, and hope, and peace provided for those who cleave to me. Therefore, I say this day, do not, absolutely do not be hasty to enter into sin, for the same is a trap, a snare, an entanglement that will damn your soul. And I say, likewise, compromise with sin is the bed partner of sin. So I say, when you see these ones who claim they love me, claim they serve me, claim they stand for me, yet I say they compromise with sin, no, they have entered into the bed of seduction. That is, whereby they will be seduced away from the truth and taken in the very corruption of their souls. I say this day, be thankful for the way of repentance, revolution in your lives. Cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet.
declare to my people their transgression, the house of Jacob their sin. The times of ignorance God overlook. But now he commands all people everywhere to repent. by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God.